my sword. So we finally get to see Hit. Now, I'ma just go straight onto the fight with freaking Vegeta and Goku. With Hit. I ain't gonna talk about everything else that happened and stuff. Alright, now with Vegeta. Now, granted, Vegeta didn't know how to fight this nigga. He couldn't figure it out. But, the thing about, the thing that, like, freaking, like, made me go, hold up, what the fuck is going on? Is that when Goku started to actually fight freaking Hit, he started to actually figure it out. And I'm like, okay, um, this is bullshit? Because, first of all, Vegeta is way smarter than freaking Goku. That's number one. He, you, everybody knows Goku is stronger than Vegeta, obviously. Everybody knows that because he beat Vegeta when Vegeta came to Earth. And then he's just been stronger than Vegeta the whole entire time. So, I was like, hold up, man. Even though I think he's not stronger than Vegeta now, but that's just my opinion. And I'll explain that in another video. But I was just like, hold up, man. Now, I know Vegeta was having a hard time fighting against Hit because they kept saying... Because every time, like, Vegeta tried to go in and attack Hit, he Hit will always hit him right when Vegeta is about to come in and punch him like that. Hit will always hit him. And he, uh, he broke Vegeta's nose, and then he started hitting Vegeta every time Vegeta uh, tried to go in and punch him and stuff. And freaking Vegeta was like, what the heck is going on, man? So... He kept trying to figure out what whole time why they was fighting. How was he doing this? But he was getting his ass whooped. And then that saying, you know, hit hit Vegeta in the freaking stomach. And then Vegeta powered down. And then he fell down on the ground. That was it. So then Goku was walking around like, man, nigga, what the heck is going on? So he went to freaking Jocko. And he asked Jocko, because Jocko, like, apparently Jocko has, like, really good eyesight. So I... I didn't really know that, to tell you the truth, but whatever. He has really good eyesight. And so he went to Jocko, and Jocko was telling him that um, he asked Jocko, hey, man, did you catch what was going on? And Jocko was like, not one bit. <laughs> and that joke made me laugh because he was like, hell no. I don't know what's going on. And then he asked, like, the, uh, uh, like the squid-looking guy is supposed to be, like, the president or something of the entire galaxy. And Goku asked him, and he was like, I don't know what's going on either. So then Goku, he fell back like this, like, dang, what I got to do in order to beat this guy? So then Jocko was like, I think he might be using, uh-uh, the uh, president of the galaxy. He was like, I think he might be using something called Time Leap. And the whole time I was watching Hit fight Vegeta, I was like, this nigga got to have some type of t time powers to where he could stop time for like a little bit so he could hit Vegeta because one time he tried to went, go and hit Vegeta and Vegeta grabbed his arm and when Vegeta grabbed his arm Hit was like oh snap this nigga got my arm but then Vegeta cocked back and went to go punch him and he didn't have his arm no more and I was like oh yeah that tells me right there that freaking Hit the freaking hit has some type of time power. Cause how in the world did he get out of Vegeta's vice grip? How did he get out of Vegeta's vice grip and then hit him? Like, how is that even possible? Like, what in the world, man? And they were saying this time leak power is a power that uh, is like you have 0.1 uh, seconds of time frozen. Like, if I explain that right, let me explain it again. Time is frozen for 0.1 second. And they was like, Goku was like, well, hold up, 0.1 second? That's so freaking small. That's small as hell. And then Jocko was like, yes, that's how come that dude is really, really fast. He's superhuman beyond human fast. He's super saiyan beyond fast, bro. Because he can, because Vegeta bagged up. It looked like 50 feet or something. And he was like, you can't hit me from this distance, nigga. Let me see you get over here. And then Jocko, like, freaking went over there to him super fast, used his timely powers, 
and hit Vegeta. And Vegeta was like, what the heck is going on? So then that's when everybody found out about the time leap powers and stuff and found out how fast he was and jumped. And then here's when all the bullshit happened to me. Vegeta lost. He gone. Goku walk in trying to figure something out. Uh, Krillin giving Vegeta freaking a sensu being. Trunks and Gohan down there giving him water, wiping the sweat off his um, head and stuff. Vegeta like, hey, Goku, um, watch your back because this nigga got your number, man. <laughs> so freaking, freaking Goku was like, you got any tips? And then Vegeta was like, nope, not one. I don't know what's going on. So then Goku walks over and then freaking Goku, uh, the match was starting. And Goku tells him, um, I'm not going to power up yet because powering up takes a lot of stamina out of me. So I'm not going to power up yet. I'm going to try to fight you a little bit and then figure out what the hell, how to counter your freaking power and then power up. Like, I was like, um, okay, but will you lose even more stamina by not powering up in the first, in the beginning? Because if you fight somebody in base form for a long time, you ain't using your power, you ain't really using no power, but you still are using your stamina. So once you go to Super Saiyan Blue form, once you decide to go to that form, you basically ain't got no more damn stamina no more because you done already used a little bit of it when you was fighting in base form. So you might as well just go ahead and power up Goku, but he was like, nah, fuck it. So then them niggas start fighting and stuff. And then just like what happened to Vegeta in the beginning of his round, Goku saw getting his ass kicked. And then that's when Goku was like, after he started getting his ass kicked, he popped back and was like, yeah, man, yeah, I know how to defeat you now. I know how to counter your freaking move now. And Hit was like, you must be bluffing. He was like, you youngster, you over here bluffing and stuff. And then Goku was sad, telling him like, I'm not as young as I look. And Hit was like, I'm a thousand years old. And I was like, Ooh. This nigga is some type of freaking Namekian of his planet or whatever, man. Like, that's how strong uh, freaking Piccolo could be. And, uh, that's another fucking video in itself. But then freaking, here's where the bullshit happened to me. Goku went in, just like Vegeta did, just like he did when he was getting his ass whooped. It looked like he went in, tried to hit, hit. But when hit used his powers and tried to hit Goku, he blocked it. And I was like... Um, how the fuck did Goku do that? Because either Goku must be super fast, or so he must be really, really freaking fast, or he must be using instant transmission in that same instant that he's uh, freaking using that when he's about to go and punch hit. That's what must be happening. Because how in the world is he blocking hits freaking punches? Because he's wide open when he's in hit's face. But when Hit go to punch him, he blocked it. And I was like, yeah, that's some bullshit, man. This is bull. And then there was, like, I forgot to tell y'all that in the middle of this episode, uh, Va um, not Vados, but uh, Beers and Wiss was joking around. Uh, Wiss was joking around with Beers talking about some, hey, uh, nah, uh-uh. Man, my mind is just going, man, because I just found that Goku shit to be so much bullshit. But Beers was like, Wiz, don't you know how to counter that? Why don't you tell them how to counter it? And Wiz was like, nah, I don't want to tell them how to counter it because this would be good uh, training for them to learn how to counter it on themselves. Which made sense, but which the, uh, I would rather prefer Wiz tell them and then they freaking use that because that's still training. Even though Wiz told them, but it kind of is better training if they learn it on their own. It's the difference between if somebody tell you how to do something and rather than uh, you learning how to do it on your own. It's like riding a bike. Somebody tell you, okay, this is how you ride the bike. Put your foot on the pedal, you pedal forward, you can push off and stuff, you can stop, this is how you stop and stuff. And rather than you learn it on your own how to ride the shit. Like, it's kind of that different. I think if you learn on your own, you have more confidence in yourself rather than somebody taught you because you didn't have those skills previously. Somebody taught you those skills. So, yeah. And then freaking, freaking Beers was like, what the fuck? You need to tell them. And then Wiz 
Wiz, this what made me laugh and stuff, man. Wiz was like, oh, all right. And then I might as well tell them that you brought an amateur to a battle full of people who are supposed to be super strong in our universe. And then Beers was like, oh, you motherfucker, you better not say nothing. And then Piccolo standing over there the whole time like, what the heck? That nigga's an amateur. I knew it. Then after that, uh, after uh, Goku figured out how to freaking defend against hits, hits. I just was like, man, kind of screwed this episode because it's like Goku just, Goku really ain't that. I think him and Vegeta is the same amount of fast because that's what I found so much crap about it because when Wix was training them on Beerus Planet, he, he told them that they not fast enough because he wrote he wrote his signature on their freaking uh, 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 training clothes, and they still got that signature up there. Goku does; he got it on his gi, and uh, Vegeta got it on his uh, his chest plate. I was like, "What in the world, man? Goku ain't this fast." And he said in this episode that it takes a lot of freaking concentration to, for him to use instant transmission. So. I don't think he was using Inch's transmission in order to defeat, and not not defeat, but in order to block his hits. So Toriyama, uh, uh, Toriyama just gave uh, Goku extra freaking speed that he didn't have in order for Goku to win this fight possibly. Because in next episode, in the next preview of that next episode, you see Hit getting, getting beat up, and you see Goku transform into a Super Saiyan God form, but. You don't know who wins and stuff. Like, at least I don't because I don't read the manga and stuff. But, yeah, man. I just found that to be so much bull. And, like, really just whatever, man. But let me know your thoughts about this whole entire episode and stuff. And what you think on how Goku is defending against Hits Hits. And if you thought that was bullshit or not. Like, like what I thought. I thought it was bullshit. So, hey, sue me, nigga. I don't care, man. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. I'll comment. Or any person that's like fucking talking shit, I comment back, man. I ain't afraid of y'all, dog. It's fucking internet. I don't know y'all and shit, but yeah, man. I just found that to be so much shit. If you don't comment people who come at you, they're freaking like turning to trolls and stuff, and then you'll just lose the whole argument and stuff. That's the like time I said that, but I'm not really that type of dude, y'all. I like to have fun and stuff, but yeah, whatever. Um, Yeah, that's all I got for this freaking episode, man. If you like anything I had to say, man, leave a like, share this video on all social media platforms, comment down below because I really want to know what y'all think and stuff. Like all the people that watch my videos that's not subscribed and all my subscribers, I really want to know y'all thoughts on all the anime episodes and stuff that y'all watching and other anime. If you watching some other anime that you want me to watch or if I'm already watching and you want me to review it because I do watch other anime that I'm not reviewing and stuff and you just want me to review it. Let me know down in the comments and all that, man. And subscribe, too. Now, I need y'all to subscribe to support a brother. I'm trying to come up, man. Support me, man, in this anime community that I'm trying to come up. Not a lot. I'm going to tell you. It's only been two, like, well, maybe three. Two, but two big, like, uh, black uh, commentators on anime in the whole entire anime community. That's been King of Lightning, and that's been Uber Hakari. The third one that kind of is, is my boy Manga Mean. Like, I love Manga Mean. I be in the stream all the time. Mean, what's up? So, support me so I can get to the top, like, freaking uh, King of Lightning, and so we can keep doing these videos and stuff, man. Subscribe and all of that. And I'll bring y'all more great content and stuff, and the videos will be more, even more diverse once more people start subscribing and stuff, man. So, yeah. Share this video, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, man. But, I'm out. That's all I got, man. I'm Danny Awesome. You're awesome. Stay awesome. I love your faces. Peace. One love. I'll see y'all in the next one.